Hello everyone. About a week ago I posted a picture of this truck up on uh, Instagram and I asked you guys to guess the mileage on it and then I got carried away. I was supposed to do a video the next day but I got carried away and never did it. So here we are. Better be late than never. In person, this truck looks good. Um, well, let me answer the question for y'all. Curious what the mileage is and you want to move on with your life. And for the regulars, 359,000 miles. And for the regulars, I'll give you the whole rundown. Maintenance, the way this thing gets maintained, what all been changed out to it. So in person, it looks pretty good. You know, a little dent here. Let me go back. I know videos and pictures don't do things justice both ways. Sometimes the truck's in a lot worse shape than the video presumes it to be and vice versa. But this one's not bad. Dent there and dent here. For the most part, doesn't have any body, well, doesn't have any body work that I know of. And yeah, it's been kept in pretty good shape. So here we go. Uh, if you're new to the channel, all I run is Ison with the Cummins combo, and we do hot shotting. That's all these trucks do. It's not just hauling your butt around, it's hauling a lot of trailer around kind of deal for a pickup like this. You know, it's fairly maxed out if it's in its capacity. As you can tell, that diff uh, is a little oily. Looks like someone serviced the diff and wiped her down. Or did they? Yeah, it looks like it just had a rear diff. You know, I'd, I'd want to see that thing house down a little better. Maybe it's because it's, maybe not, might not be the oil, but it really looks like it's the oil. I don't have the guys look on it. I had it on Monday. Might be just a water dripping on it. Well, there you are. So, nothing different, but if you still want to hear the rundown, here we go on the, on the service plan. Engine, 15, 20,000, somewhere in there we get we get this thing an engine. Uh, oil service, so engine oil and engine oil filter. You know, tire rotation, any chance we get, every 10, 15, 20,000. And as soon as we get anything past 10,000, we rotate the tires. Because you'll see a tire wear and you'll rotate them. Uh, as far as interior-wise, she's all original, as you can tell. A lot of wear and tear on that cover. But as far as the, the shoot, you can't really tell there. She's tight and she's old. She's cranky. I just ripped it. Um, yeah, it's all original. As you can tell, this is original too. Um, not very common, but I've seen a couple of them give out. So let me show you the way this driver has it set up. Well, the old driver had it set up. Jeff, you did a phenomenal job keeping this thing in good shape. Thank you, brother. Oh, he's not with us anymore. He, well, <laughs> not that way. He, uh, he's doing something else with his life. You know, I haven't followed up with him recently. I wonder what he's doing. I think he's going to do real estate or something, but nevertheless, uh, he did it well. He gave us all, he, Jeffrey gave himself enough room to, to be able to reach under there instead of just, you know, uh, close off that hole and not give himself enough room to work in here. But he, you know, elevated a little bit and uh so now you could use a lot of space underneath and still have enough room to sleep here the law states the fire extinguisher needs to be in the open and you know within reach and uh secured so i guess that works i don't know why exactly he had it here maybe because he probably slept up and down like that and this was never in his way so i'm showing you this just so y'all can have ideas if you ever want to go out there and rebuild your bed or you want to go out there and hot shot i wonder how things get done uh, this is not a sleeper berth it's just you set up your truck as you want and uh you're still gonna spend a lot of time in here this is the switch for the auxiliary pump i don't know if you can hear it Ooh, that sounds pretty empty let's shut her down show you under the hood um you know a lot of you guys ask why not chevy why not ford uh primarily the main reason is the engine uh efficiency of the engine so there you have it she's all there looks like someone washed it under here as well engine and tranny cummins with an ice and tranny there you have it the air dams intact which is very important um uh, so yeah front axle oil so i'm gonna go down the service intervals oil on the front axle is a hundred thousand transfer cases a hundred thousand the transmissions at 50 and the rear diffs at 50 the engines at 15 to 20 i get that question asked so many times i could man i could wrap 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 about it <laughs> so brake pads they last about in a, in a really good case 200,000 average buck 20 buck 50 uh, if you're surpassing 200,000 on your original brake pads swap them out they will come unglued and you'll end up in tragedy you know not 
probably not going to wreck your truck, but you're going to have a collapsed, uh, collapsed caliper. Anyways, rear ends go out about every 500,000 and assemblies as well. So the, the carrier and the U joints sort of wore out by 500,000 for what we do. Transfer case is original in this particular truck. Average life of the transmission that we're seeing is 550. Uh, yeah, probably every three, four hundred thousand, pull the tank out, clean around it, and sort of inspect everything. Airbags last as long as you keep air in them. I have airbags with 500,000 on them. As long as they were, they had plenty of air in them, they didn't get chewed up, they will last. Uh, you know, should I say keep up with the air leaks? They will be created, they will come and go. As long as you keep up with the air leaks and get them addressed, you are in gold. You're in good shape. These side steps really impress me. They're doing well, and they're the original ones. Yeah, they're missing a little bit of plastic, but other than that, man, they're they're solid. Buy the chrome ones; they last a lot longer than the steel. You know, the black steel ones. I mean, I know it's steel underneath, but these are chrome plated, and I don't care if I'm not saying they look great. I'm saying they last a lot better. So, anyways, guys, that's it. The average life, the gas mileage of this truck is uh, 10 miles to the gallon. For all you guys curious out there, that's what she's bringing in. She lives with the trailer behind her. 30, uh, this one's done a lot of 32 footers. The other one, the usual setup is 36 footer, but this one's been 32. Anyways, boys, as always, may the Lord bless you. May y'all have a fine day and ciao. Till next time.